You and Chris are going to be in here talking about God knows what. I like to ask if your levels are good. They seem to be good. They seem to be good. Folks, you're getting a behind the scenes technical moments. Oh, there's been some technical moments tonight here at the Retro Show. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we've had the drama of a lost remote control that was found, thank goodness. And uh, in all- a place that obviously it never is. Yes, it never is there, but but, but, but there it was. Uh, folks, this is the Retro Show, and I'm your host, Butch Renfro, and I'm joined at the microphone, as always, folks, by uh, uh, my partner in crime, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Curtis. Chris Curtis. Oh, man, I love this crowd. How are you guys in the back? Appreciate y'all coming out. Thank y'all. Thank y'all. Yeah, we're going to milk that for all it's worth. We're just going to beat that in the ground. That's just a part of the show now, people. So we're going to do that every week. Are you ready to podcast? I am. Are you ready to podcast? I don't think you are. Are you ready? Are, are you? I'm fixing to be. Oh, now, yeah, baby. we're ready to podcast. Is, here. So now, what Try is this? It. That is local. Yeah? It is from Point Remove. It is Blackjack Pirate Ale. That's good. Yes, it's very good. Yeah, that's very it's good. Very Thank good. you, ma'am. Very, very good. It's very, very good. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, this is the Retro Show. It is an homage to all things uh, growing up in the 70s and 80s, which is a good thing because that's when you and I grew up. So, you know, yeah, yeah. you know. Well, I don't uh, know that that use that term very loosely. Allegedly. <laughs> we allegedly grew, grew up. up. If you want to find out more about the podcast, and you know, why wouldn't you? Uh, you can head over to RetroShow.net, and you can find out all sorts of good things that you can do there. One, you can get a hold of us. So we have a phone number listed there, which is 501-697-9933. That's 501-697-9933. Three, three. That's right. You can call us and leave us a voicemail. You can also email us. There's all sorts of ways to get a hold of us. we got our Facebook listed there. Every place in the world that you can get this podcast. And, Chris, we now have a store there. A, a what? A store what where we? they can go and order swag. Retro mm. show swag. Uh, we, we have some uh, retro show uh, things we have team chris and t- team butch shirts <laughs> that uh, you can order uh i, I thought those go were team funny. chris yay yeah <clears throat> even i say go it, and i think my wife is going to get a team chris shirt for christmas <laughs> uh so anyway <laughs> well me and debbie go way back also, yeah yeah so. uh, well you sang in choir together <laughs> we you know. did you and did she's got my back on this show. i know I she does she always backs you up on this show <laughs> so so there's that uh also what you could find there uh the is they uh, also have <laughs> there's a notebook there that has the the retro show logo with yours and mine's picture on there and it says underneath the official gen x you will not remember this write it down notebook oh yeah that, that, that you can you order probably need a copy of that i i definitely do because i always think when i go to the store oh i got this and I never got yeah, it's this. It's kind of like me coming to the show. I got this. I I'll got just this. wing it. Wait, we'll <laughs> wing it. See what happens. <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? A lot. Yeah, what, yeah. Hey, Rabbit Hole, you said something about growing up. Yeah. You know, and I, I said allegedly grew up. It's highly overrated. Well, I mean, I just remember on my 10th birthday, you know, you hit double digits. That's a milestone. That is a milestone. It is. That's a big one. And I remember crying. And my mother was like, what is wrong with you? I said, I, I don't want to grow up. I'm a Toys R Us kid. I'm sorry. I mean, I just, just I don't want to grow what, up. Yeah. I mean, that, that's you a true story. You did didn't want to grow I up? I know. I grow up. I, I was having way <laughs> too much fun. Yeah. Uh, with my Hot Wheels and Hot Wheels and the Evil Knievel. Joe and my Evil Knievel. And G.I. Joe with the Kung Fu grip. And my Plastic Army Men. And your Plastic up. Army Men that you would blow up. But then, you know, you, you make a few years there and you discover girls. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> this is way better than Plastic Army Men. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's like you go to your friends and go, fellas, we were lied to. They don't have cooties and they uh, smell nice. They smell good. And they smell nice. Uh, much better than you do. 
So yes. anyway, uh, guys, uh, once again, this is the retro show. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about candy bars and we're going to go through candy bars, candy bars <laughs> because, you know, as a kid, you know, when, when, when we were growing up, you know, they had a lot of you know commercials and I guess they still do. And I do have a top candy bar, and it's going to be a controversial really? decision. I think it will. Well, you know, I, I've noticed that I don't eat a lot of candy bars anymore. No, I don't as, either. As I got older, my taste changed. Uh huh. But there's still one may stay that I mean, main stay that I mean I would always reach for if I was going to have a candy bar. Yes. Um, and and we'll, I'm sure you're going to this. Just keep everybody in suspense. Yeah, I mean, we're not about we, we gotta go through this. Yeah, we got to go through the uh, the whole thing. It's kind of like you know uh, those Bigfoot shows on TV. Yeah, <laughs> and I didn't find him again. Uh, and so at the last three minutes, <laughs> well, we didn't find him again. And it's <laughs> like right. the same. It's like the Loch Ness monster shows are the same way. It's like the last two minutes they got this Scottish guy going. Well, once again, no Nessie. Yeah. You know, so. <laughs> <laughs> we will. Uh, listen, here, we have some feedback on our History of Sticks show, which is, by the way, folks, episode 15, if you would like to go back and give it a listen, from listener Michael Hiblin. I'm halfway through your episode on sticks, having listened on my way to the office today and enjoying it. Uh, I didn't. I don't know if you knew this, but when Sticks played at Verizon Arena in 2018, JY said in, in Chicago they could pick up KAAY. Really? And that they would listen to Beaker Street. Oh, yeah. And he said... Clive uh, Clifford. Yeah, Clyde Clifford and Beaker Street is a legend. <clears throat> and he said uh, uh, that show is where they got their first airplay ever for Lady before it was made a hit. And then, uh, of course, you discussed John Lendecker made it a hit by playing it every night. So that's kind of cool that, that K-A-A-Y cool. uh, was the first one to ever play that nationwide. I remember being on, on the island at Deer Camp and listening to the radio at night, listening, picking up St. Louis, yeah. listening to the Cards play. You know, the Cardinals were playing baseball. Right. And and I thought it was amazing that we were picking that up from St. Louis, but KAAY to make it all the way to Chicago or Illinois. Oh, KAAY That's... back in the day made it to Cuba. Cuba? Yeah. Well. All the way there, so they would do some VOA <laughs> stuff too, I believe. And the next thing you know, Fidel Castro's in charge. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> um also, speaking of uh, the, the Facebooks uh, and, and Instagrams, uh, you know who Eddie Trunk is? Mm-mm. Okay, so Eddie Trunk is this guy. Like he he is like the 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 media guy for like hard rock and metal stuff. He he's like the reporter and had a show called That Metal Show for a while on VH1. But he posted this uh, uh, poster uh, from the first ever. Oh, I don't know if it's the first ever. No, it wasn't because they had these long before. Fake but news. The 1984 <laughs> Donington, the Castle Donington Festival that they have every year uh, over in the UK for the Monsters of Rock. And this is from 1984. So listen to this lineup. So the host was some fellow by the name Tommy Vance, which I guess is like some guy that's a big deal over there. But he was the host for it. Okay. <clears throat> but the lineup was, and the very first opening act out of all of them was Motley Crue. Oh, that's awesome. Okay. And then Accept. Y&T, Gary Moore, Ozzy Osbourne, Van Halen, and headlining was ACDC. Now, some UK of the... UK band headlining a UK concert? I can't imagine. I know. <laughs> uh, I'm actually kind of surprised, and I, I guess, you know, the, <clears throat> that, that Ozzy maybe wasn't ahead of Van Halen, but I think Van Halen was so huge in 84 that yeah. there's no way they could have gotten through that any other way. But there were some commenters on there. And it's like, why wasn't Motley Crue listed higher on there, man? And I was like, listen, you need to understand that Motley Crue at that time had one album out, and they had not yet had their big monster hit in 85 with Home Sweet Home. And they had one moderately successful album out at the time, so they were exactly where they needed to be in that lineup at that time. At that time. Now, maybe right. later, you know, they that they would have been higher. But, you know, at that time, they were exactly where they needed to be, which was opening the, the entire show. That's a pretty cool poster, guys. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. Maybe, I, maybe you should put that up. Maybe I should. Or but you know how bad I am about On the that. Facebooks. On the Facebooks. <laughs> or on the websites. That's pretty cool. Um, by the way, I'd also like to make an announcement. Uh, this goes out to Bermuda Grass. 
This is specifically to Bermuda grass. It's because, a public service announcement. Uh, since Bermuda grass, you seem to love my flower beds so much and hate my backyard. I hear now, now hereby designate my entire backyard now as a flower bed. So feel free to just grow <laughs> and stay out of the flower beds. <laughs> Because that's a lawn now. So just so you know. Uh, See how I'm trying to do that? Yeah, you're doing See good. See how to do that. So, uh, so what's it? So, dude, what have you been doing this week? What's been going on with you? Dude, it's, tu- it's Tuesday. It's Tuesday? I and mean, it just feels like I, it, this this week started out bad, and it just keeps getting Oh, I'm bad. sorry. It just is what it is, man. It's yeah. life. Yeah. You know, I went to a pinball tournament this weekend. <clears throat> I was going to go. We went to Fayetteville to uh, take some more stuff up to Cannon and... Oh, I figured it was something like that. Yeah, you know, I was. I had planned on going, and he's like, "How are you going to go to Fayetteville and play at a pinball tournament?" Yeah. Like, well, you're right about that. Uh, I actually finished eleventh place. That which, a boy? How many uh, people last there? Last time, uh, there 11? was like eighteen. <laughs> there was like eighteen, but you know what? Still, I wasn't dead I told, last this time. I told you it was luck. I it's wasn't dead luck. last this time. I actually, there was one of the, there was a couple of the machines that I actually did had a couple of good rounds on. Yeah. And, you know, but you're right. A lot of it's like because there was one of those machines that just kept it's like everything just came right down the middle and you couldn't do anything about it. And I mean, even the good players were like, I hate this machine. You, you know, know as, a, as a small boy, I played a lot of pinball. You know, we talked to Keller about this because he owns the place. But, you know, he said he always wanted to play pinball and pinball and pinball. And, and I couldn't wait to get away from pinball. And start because playing the video games. The, I like the video games. I got more out of the video games yeah. for me than I did ever got out of a pinball. But I like to play pinball. I do. But I don't it's fun. It's game. fun. I think I enjoy it now more than I did then. I do too. I think I do too. I do too. So, hey, folks, uh, this is the retro show. We are going to go away for a second. But don't worry because we're going to be right back. There's your warning. Hey, Chris, guess what? What? We got producers. Did you know that? I know we got producers. Yeah, these fantastic, lovely individuals have decided that they're going to support the podcast by committing to $3 a month. I mean, come on, man. You're not even going to miss $3, man. You can't even buy a bubble gum for $3. Well, (laughs) you can't. You get that cheap, nasty kind. You know what I mean. It's really, you know. Not, Flavor's gone in about 10 seconds. Yeah, it's not even the good bubble gum. But anyway, folks, uh, here are the people that we have that support us. Brand new to our list is Kevin Goff. Yep, Mr. Goff, thank you very much. Yeah, and then LNC Corporation. You don't mess with LNC You do not cross the LNC Corporation. <laughs> Norton! 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 And Chris B. Thank you, Chris B. Uh, Nancy Schwartz. Nancy Schwartz. Yeah. Who else Nancy is on there? Nancy Schwartz. Who else is on the list, man? Josh Ramsey. Thank you, Josh. Yeah. Fran Adams. E-M. E-M. And Bradford, Bradford the Behemoth Mason. Mason. Well, Behemoth Beast. Kind of the same thing. It's not. Oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and, of course, our original... Sponsor, our original producer. Number one in our hearts. Tanya Highland. Thank hey, you. guys, you can go to RetroShow.net, click support the podcast, and find out how you can be one of our fine producers. Butch, what's this Van Halen symbol doing on this? It's, it's pretty. <laughs> hey, folks, we are back on the Retro Show, and today's topic is candy bars. If you didn't get out of here quick enough on that break, I'm sorry. You I know. the rest. I know. <laughs> Was that a three, four minute break you had there? No, it's probably not that long. I, th- I think with the ads and everything, what a couple of minutes, a couple of minutes of your time and you get to hear this quality <laughs> entertainment or whatever this is we're doing. Uh, so today, folks, the uh, the uh, topic is candy bars. And of course, you know, being being kids growing up when we did, there were, you know, candy bar advertisements all the time uh, back in the uh, set. And I, I guess there still are. I, maybe I just don't watch a lot of TV anymore. I don't, watch, anymore. TV. I don't I watch a lot of TV. I watch I watch a lot of YouTube. That's yeah, basically what I, I do want. too. We just like all the time. You know, I, I find something I want to see on there, and I'll and I'll watch that. And YouTube's pissing me off with these commercials. Oh, dude, it drives me crazy, especially when you can't skip them after like five seconds. Yeah, if I can skip them after five seconds, I'm, I'm okay. I'm but okay it was like it. your content will play after the ad plays, yeah. and I was going, oh, "You're you're taking thirty seconds out of my life. That's I ain't right. never getting back." That's right. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, candy bars, and, and, and listen, my number one is going to be controversial. I'm just going to tell you, okay? okay? Not that I have a number one. We're just going to be talking candy bars from back in the day. And there's one, though, that I have to start off with, because let's start off with the negative, and then we'll get positive. 
later okay. on. Okay. Uh, let me just talk about payday and how disappointing that is as a candy bar. Can we? Can we talk payday? You can talk all you want. It's like you got the <laughs> you, you got the caramel, and then you put peanuts on it. You have a perfect opportunity to cover that with chocolate. What do you do? You say, "No, nah, we're good. We got peanuts around some caramel, man. Just 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 just, just package it up, send it out. We're good." Mama always said, "If you don't have nothing nice to say, don't say anything at all." But <laughs> or you can come over here and sit next to us. So. Uh, you know, man, I'll be honest with you. Payday is one that has, it's one I would reach for. Really? I love them. I do. And uh, I, that's not, that's not the one that I was talking about earlier, but I like paydays. I do. You like paydays. Well, okay. sometimes I don't want chocolate. I don't, but I like, I'm a caramel guy. Okay. Or caramel or caramel, caramel, whatever, caramel. I, I, I like that stuff too, but, um, Okay, do you remember back in the yes. 70s? <laughs> <laughs> they had this thing called the O. Henry bar. Yep, I do. I they do had an O. Henry. Henry. And I haven't seen one of those in forever. I think they're gone. I think they're gone. I but I, they but O. Gone. Henry's were good. And, and, and I think that was, was, was that not a peanut caramel kind of kind of concoction there? Yeah, something like that. Yeah. It wasn't, it wasn't as good as, as Payday, for sure. So, um, but otherwise, yeah, I, I, when it, is was, good it was payday. okay. That's a low bar there, brother. Uh, so let's see. Uh, so Bradley has, has popped in. Uh, okay. So I have a note here from the family. My <laughs> sister is visiting from out of town and she says she likes a Zagnut. And I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Zagnut was not even going to be mentioned on this show until she decided to say Zagnut. Well, it's like a poor man's Butterfinger, isn't it? Didn't Sandy drop you off at the Van Halen concert? She did. Well, there you go. There you go. And she gets then, to add uh, Zagnut to the list. <laughs> uh, Bradley says, Bradley's my son. He's standing here. and He passes me this note. So I think I have to, to go ahead and say that he says that Mounds and Almond Joy both suck. And I'm just going to tell you, I, li- I like coconut. He does not. So yeah, therein um, lies the difference. And I, are you a Mounds guy or are you an Almond Joy guy? I like my Almond Joy. I do, too. Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. But Sometimes I like the dark chocolate on the Mounds, too, because I'm also a dark chocolate guy. Yeah, I like I like the almonds. I'm an almond guy. Yeah. So uh, <coughs> uh, obviously you can tell my family is divided they on are. certain Well, at least it's issues. not on like football. That's true. <laughs> we all like – well, I see those people driving around town. A house divided. A house divided. I was like, well, well why'd you even marry them? Yeah, I was like, no doubt. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing? You can't have Alabama and Auburn people in one house. You know, Arkansas you, or Texas. Arkansas and Texas or Arkansas yeah. and OU. You, you can't do that. Nope. What's, what's Arkansas, wrong with you? Ole Miss. Nope. Uh, but, Arkansas and anybody. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> um, so another candy bar but it's, it's get, that, that some people don't like, but I really do, because I like toffee. That's a Heath bar. I love Heath bars. I love Heath bars. You know where they're really good? Crunch those suckers up and throw them on some ice cream. I'm telling you. I mean, that, dude, yeah. Yeah. I mean. You can't really go wrong on that. You can't, and I, but I don't. I mean, I don't even want to think about that. Yeah. It's, it almost seems sacrilegious or something i know or unholy <laughs> so i'm looking at a pinterest uh, here that that has uh, uh candies from the uh 70s here. that have disappeared that have disappeared i saw that list oh henry's on there today. uh oh henry is on there uh let me see here bar six cadbury used to have that i'm not even sure what that is uh a texan bar i saw that i never oh let me tell you what was good Tell me. Do you remember the word? And you can still find them because kids are always having fundraisers. <clears throat> now it's people bring them to work and sell them to you. Right. But the world's finest chocolate. Yeah, I love them. Yeah. They're good. I mean, they are. And they're, they're usually good. a buck, a dollar. They're usually a dollar, but they're really small they're now. They're getting smaller. And back in the day, man, and those suckers were like eight yeah. eight inches of, of chocolate goodness back in the day. <laughs> so many places to go with that I statement. Knew, I, I just said, didn't, Listen, just man, gonna... I'm, I'm proud of you. I am so proud of you. I, I threw that softball. <laughs> I threw that softball. See, there's another one. I threw that right across the plate. You didn't even take a swing at it. Nope. So, but yeah, 
Uh, Nestle used to have a thing called a chocolate light. Remember, it was like the air filled. I do, and I but they didn't last long. They didn't last long. Everybody's like, I'm paying for air. I ain't eating. I ain't this. paying for air. I ain't going to eat I want some chocolate in there. And uh, the Clark Bar, which I think you can still find. I think sometimes. you can still find a Clark Bar, but uh, that just wasn't a go to. Now, no. there is one on that list that that um, I looked at a zero bar. I do like the zero bar. Not the zero bar, huh? I do. You know, I have not had a zero bar. In a really, I hadn't either, but really I liked it back time. in the day because I liked the white chocolate fudge on the and top. That's, it was that's pretty good, good too. They used to have the Reggie Bar, and and I don't remember the Reggie Bar. I Reggie really don't. Bar, but that was that was uh, Reggie Jackson. Yes, yeah, Reggie Jackson. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you talk about the old Henry Bar, the old Henry Bar, uh, the Zero Bar uh, that we had back in the day, and then um, let's see, uh, Willy Wonka used to has a Scrunch Bar. I don't. I, you know, I saw a bunch of Willy Wonka stuff when I was a kid, but I, I just, I wasn't a fan. Yeah, me either. Now, as far as like Halloween candies go, because we are getting to, close to that time of that year. Good God. Uh, <laughs> you know the... Remind me to show you a video later. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Excellent. It's mental note. Not now, but later. <laughs> Chris has things we can't share with other people. Um, but the Mary Janes, I like those. The what? The Mary Janes, the little Mary Jane candies. Like what? Like describe? Tell me. I don't know, man. They're they're kind of a caramelly. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know thing. what you're talking about. They were all different flavors. Yeah, yeah. Those uh, were good. Those were good. Yeah. And, and let me tell you another one of those things that I think people don't get, and that's Smarties. I love Smarties. Smarties are like little sweet tarts. They're yep. just smaller. Yeah. They're Smarties not, they're, but they're not really tart. They're just sweet. They're, they're just sweet, and they got a little bit of tartness. Too. That's one of Cindy's favorite candies. Is Smarties. Smarties she are awesome. Smarties. But here we go. We, we we are wandering away from the topic here. So let me get into some of my favorite ones. Okay, no, my my son doesn't like these, but I'm going to go ahead and say that one of my favorites is Almond Joy. Yeah. Because I love coconut. I, I I like the Almond Joy just fine. I yeah. mean, it's not. It wouldn't be one I'd pick out if I had a choice. Yeah. So I mean, give me one that you that I would pick out. Yeah. Um, you know, these hit the market in '79. I did look that up because I knew they weren't around when I was a young kid. But Twix bars. Twix. Love Twix. Listen, man, you can't go wrong with Twix. Cookie caramel and chocolate. Yep. And two of them. Yep. <laughs> and two of them. <laughs> two. <clears throat> two. Yeah. Yeah. Let's, let's have them, them both. <laughs> uh, but yeah, th- those are really good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and say uh, that that um, one that I think is is slightly overrated. Debbie really likes them. That's Hershey bars because I don't really like Hershey bars. You know, I, man, I like, I'll, I'll be honest with you. Um, I mean, they're both okay. Of, both of them, Hershey's and the Hershey's and almonds, both of them are really good. I, I like Hershey's chocolate. I like Cadbury's a little um, bit better. Cadbury better than Hershey's? Yeah. Well, you know, my mom when when they her and my aunt were making candy all the time they'd make it at christmas and they would mm-hmm. always melt down hershey bars but they'd have those damn things in the freezer and everybody'd go in there and get a hershey bar. <laughs> it, was like, just, it was good good stuff oh, yeah. yep uh i had okay so another one that i really really like that i think a lot of people sleep on is the uh reese's take five i'm i can't get past it because reese's peanut butter cups are like the, the top of the heap. Well, true, but you can have. Yeah, but it's got other, you know, crap. <laughs> no, it's got, dude, it's got like five things in it. It's got I like, know. It's got like pretzels. It's got peanut butter. It's like really, really I know. good. I know exactly what you're talking about. And They're I'm great. just telling you, you don't need anything else. <laughs> but that's okay. I see, mean, you, see, but you're trying to put Reese's in a box, man. Uh-huh. You gotta let Reese's breathe, man. Reese's is in a box. It's all by itself, sitting at the top. <laughs> it's lonely at the top. <laughs> it's lonely at the top. Uh, but yeah, uh, that go-to that I was talking about earlier, and I mean, a lot of people, I would say most people are going to agree because you know what you're going to get, and that's a Snickers bar. Snickers, yeah. Okay. That's that. My dad, when we went hunting, he, had he always bar. had Snickers bars. To, okay, to Snickers on. bars. I would have to say are in my top, but mm-hmm. they're not at the top. All right, you already know what's at my top. So oh, I think you do too, and that's why I was going to say because it's not a bar shape, but they're just going to get over it. <laughs> they're just going to get over it. But anyway, uh, that's just, again a softball, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, <laughs> they're just going to get over it. One of the big three, and I think there were big three ones that were advertised, uh, and that was Three Musketeers. 
you you already mentioned Snickers and Milky Way. I think out of those three, my favorite one out of those is Milky Way. Okay. Then Snickers. And then Three Musketeers if I have to. I I never was a huge Three Musketeers fan. Me that either. was like the last That's Halloween the last one. Game. That's like <laughs> it's like, okay, I've already had all of my Snickers. <laughs> All my Reese's peanut butter. All my Reese's. First. Oh, Reese's are gone yeah, they're, first. They're gone. <laughs> they're gone first. You know the little Reese's minis that that, that you would get. But no, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you that that one of my favorite ones because I think the caramel texture in it is perfect, and that's Milky Way. I, Milky Ways are okay. They're great, they're, man. I mean, I mean, but this is one thing that you like that I'm 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 yeah. okay with, but I'm not. That's yeah. not my top. I'm one of my other. Well, it's top not my ones. top. So my top good. three. I'll give you my top. You three. Give me your three. My top three would be Snickers, Snickers, then Butterfinger, but it has to be fresh. A fresh Butterfinger. If you get a, an older Butterfinger, they ain't near as good. And the ain't is a word down here. I'm just letting y'all know. No, ain't ain't's a word. Ain't, <laughs> ain't near as good as they are when they're fresh. And nope. then Reese's is at the top. Always has been. Always has but been. But Butterfinger's pretty much peanut butter again. Yeah. But there's another one in there that, that you can find them still. And I saw them the other day and I thought, man, that's cool. I'm glad they're still around. Chico sticks. Oh. Love Chico sticks. Man. <clears throat> but they had See, to be fresh. If they, they were they old, be they were just like Butterfingers. See, they're a lot like, there's a flavor there that's a yep. lot like a Butterfinger exactly without right. the chocolate. Yep. But yeah, Butterfingers are good. Had listen. coconut on the outside. Yeah, you don't want to sleep on the Butterfingers, man. They're, no. Good stuff, are, man. Or the Chico sticks. Or the like Chico sticks. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I have to go ahead and say that I'm, I'm just going to go ahead and go to my number one here. Because well, number two was my Milky Way. Uh, okay. okay. But my number one is Reese's. Oh, they, peanut butter see, cup. We, man, dude. But we ended up we in the same up. place. That's why we yeah, hung out. Yeah, that's why we hung out. <laughs> Unless you took my Reese's and then, you know, then, then it's Can it, can it? Cannon, that my son, his that's his favorite Reese's. Well, see, the thing is, is that, that people was like, "Well, so. it's it's not a bar shape; it's technical." Shut I up! Really care. D- d- just shut your it's pie hole. Candy it's bar. it's yeah. candy bar. It's a candy bar. <laughs> I don't care if it's round or not. There's two of them. You can. It, it comes in a rectangular package, so you hey, know this is what you're doing: moving your mouth, and you need to just shut it because and, it's a bar. And Easter, you can get them in egg shape. Yes, you can. Yeah. And you know what? I'm going to say you get more for your money. I think you on do that too because you get more. Peanut butter. I think you do too. In, Have you ever seen the big, the, the double thick ones? The double thick ones, like the big, the big thick. Yes, bowl, and sometimes, Dude. man, yeah. yeah. Sometimes I'll put the crunchy peanut butter in those too. We are living time. in the past because we are living. In I the don't past. get to eat any. No, I don't get anymore. to do nearly as much of those anymore. But I'm going to go ahead. I don't think we can get out of here. Okay, they're not bars, but I think we have to talk M and M's. Uh, yeah, M and M's for just peanut a second or plain. Now, there's some other flavors that I just don't – it just, just don't call them M&M's. Just uh, it's, it's just not natural. It's either plain or peanut. That's it. Plain or peanut. Well, okay. <laughs> Let me go ahead and tell you. I think you're in luck here. These have a hard candy shell. <laughs> These have a hard – you know what they used to say? Well, they, they melt in your, your mouth, mouth, not, not in, in your, your hands. Hand, and is, the fact of the matter, that's a lie. It is. Because that candy stuff would just goo all over the like hands, You look like you had, man. like, the rainbow You look like it's rainbow <laughs> and then, like, a baby messed in it after, you know, because – you know, because because that would happen. Uh, but folks, listen. Uh, if you would like to jump in, you can come in online at uh, you go to retroshow.net and click on our Facebook page, and you can join the conversation, or you can give us a call and leave us a little voicemail and tell us what your uh, favorite candy uh, bar might have been uh, back in the day. So listen, guys. We appreciate you listening. We really do. Thanks, guys. And we will see you next time on the Retro Show. Love all of you, and I like some of you. AMF, guys.